guys welcome to another weekly vlog today is wednesday it's day 163 of quarantine and today i have had a day i've had so much i was supposed to get done but i had this massive anxiety like stress ball wave just come over me and i just didn't get as much as i wanted to done but it's later in the night nick's parents called and was like hey you want to go out to dinner of course it's also wednesday and it's the first day of the diet but we're not gonna say no to going out to dinner so we're heading down the road to the lost dog pub we're gonna get some good food and hang out with his parents because we haven't seen him in a little while and I feel like that's exactly what we need for the rest of the night is just kind of hang out with family and chill. So we're gonna go do that. I can't wait because I haven't had last dog in a really long time. <laughs> happens to be National Dog Day, and we went to, what's it called? Lost Dog Pub or Lost Dog? What's it called? <laughs> well, do you know? The Lost Dog? I don't know if it's Lost Dog Pub or Lost Dog. Anyways, it's in Dennis. It's right down the road from us. So we went there for dinner, and we realized that it was National Dog Day while we were out. So that's just a little fun fact. Dinner was good, by the way. I am stuffed. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Thursday, day 164 of quarantine, and I'm in the car. I have to give blood this morning because I have a physical next week and then another appointment the following week after that. I'm supposed to have these appointments in February, March, but that was like when Corona started, so it got pushed back to September. So I really have to go because my prescriptions are ending. I need refills. So I'm here to give blood. I'm the worst blood giver. I have very tiny veins and they're like so far into my skin, but I prepped all day yesterday and and most of this morning. So I'm about to go in. I got five minutes where I can go in. And I'm gonna do that. Great way to start the day. 20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. It took two phlebotomists and 20 minutes to get my blood from my body. Also it took three sticks, two from the arm and one from the hand. I always do hand as last resort because I hate it. It hurts so badly. Like it's not a good time at all. Sorry, someone was driving by and I just didn't want them to park next to me while I was vlogging because that's really weird. So yeah, they stuck me three times, twice in the same arm and then one in the hand here. I just hate giving blood. Hopefully that's the last time I have to do it for like another year because I ended my endocrinology just appointments because my thyroid was looking good and I was losing weight and everything was on track so my doctor could keep track of that now so I don't have extra blood to give although I never really have an issue giving that blood because I'm not fasting different story so I'm hoping that the next time I get blood won't be until like next year sometime for my physical so we'll see I am heading to the store that's across the street because there's like a certain type of ice cream that Nick's co-worker said that he should get and I know that he said that this place sold it so I'm gonna go in there grab that some egg and some eggs so I can have eggs and hash browns for breakfast this morning because I'm I'm not in the mood for cereal because I drank already a gallon of water and I just don't want like any liquids at the moment. So that's my plan for now. I'm gonna head home, eat breakfast, and then I have quite a bit of th like things I have to get done today. I'll go over that list when I get home in a little bit. Hello from the floor of my office. It's a lot later in the day. I think it's like five o'clock in the afternoon now. Nick has already left to our friend's birthday party, John. He's turned 27 today, so he's off doing that. I'm sitting on the floor. You might be able to hear it, the rain behind me. I know I just showed you a little montage of the rain, but it's still raining, but I have a slider open, so I'm sitting in front of it because I love the rain. The rain makes me so incredibly happy. Plus, we've had a drought for a little while. Like my grass, like at my condo is like dead. And I know there's a lot of other farms, like there's a certain farm we go to. I cannot say the name of it for the life of me. It's like Chinooks or something like that. Their corn maze is dead and it's due to the drought so I'm really happy that it's been raining for most of the day today. After I said it was and then it wasn't and then now it is. So anyways, I'm sitting on the floor in my office just watching and listening to the rain. I'm trying to finish my first edit of one of my first 10 hour weddings I've done this season so far and oh, I forgot what it was like to edit an entire wedding day. It's a lot of work, especially when there's power lines. In in the pictures, like all of the ceremony and photos, bridal party photos, family photos. So I'm just taking a little break. But the plan for the rest of the day is I'm gonna finish this first edit. I'm gonna feed the animals. I'm gonna get to comfy clothes. I'm gonna make dinner, which I have no clue what I'm gonna make because I have beef, but I'm not like in the mood for it. I really want like pancakes or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna figure out dinner and then I'm gonna play Animal Crossing for the rest of the night and catch up on some YouTube because I know there's a lot of different vlogs that came out this week that I 
I haven't seen. So that is the plan for me for the rest of the evening. I will try my best to vlog it. Sometimes it just gets caught up in whatever I'm doing and I just don't. I don't know. It's a bad habit, but I need to get off the floor so I can finish this edit of this wedding. I'm looking at the slider bar now. I'm only halfway through, so I might not even finish this first edit. <sighs> it's taking a lot longer than I really hoped for, so I need to stop talking. I need to go back to work. Good morning guys, today's Friday, it's day 165 quarantine and I did exactly what I said I was gonna do last night and I didn't vlog anything that I did. In my defense, I only played Animal Crossing, watched YouTube videos, and then I made dinner. And breakfast this morning is what I made for dinner so I figured I'll just show you what I made for dinner last night this morning because we're having it for breakfast. <laughs> How amazing does this look? They are blueberry waffles. Well, they're regular waffles with blueberries on top. And then some frozen homemade hash browns or whatever you would call them. Potatoes, little potatoes. It looks so, so, so good. Of course, my camera, you know, never focuses correctly. So we're gonna eat the breakfast, get some work done. I have a shoot later on tonight. It is a little overcasty right now, so I'm hoping the sun does come out later because it's gonna be on like a trail beach area. I haven't shot there in a really long time, so I'm actually really excited to shoot there. And it's with my cousin, Lauren. You don't know her but she's my cousin and I'm super excited to meet her little baby because he's almost one years old and I still haven't meet, met him yet because of COVID so yeah that's the plan for today just get some work done go to a shoot and then we have weddings this weekend so it's pretty busy for us excuse my full mouth but Nick is a syrup connoisseur and he wants only the purest one from Vermont purest right. it's just pure or okay, whatever but he got a new one you gotta tell me how it is tell me if it's better than your other one you haven't had it yet <laughs> I just tasted it I tasted the syrup alone with nothing. I did not see you do that. Was it good though? Yeah. It's better? Mm-hmm. Butternut Mountain Farm. Butternut Mountain Farm in Vermont. Morrisville, Vermont. What's it called again? Let me see. It's just called maple syrup. Organic, 100% pure Vermont maple syrup. Boom. Great day. And this is what I eat because I'm on a forever diet. Hi, Slim. I'm eating breakfast. What do you need? Are you confused? Yeah, it's been a while since we had it here. I know, and then we get to work. That sucks so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll come out before the photo shoot and we can cuddle. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. Is this all you wanted in your life? Or do you want to sit at the table with dad? Want to sit at the table? Here, you can sit at the table. Yeah, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Look. Oh, Slim, I love you. <laughs> so I went to go water my plants. This one is usually up here in this corner, but I feel like, I don't know, it has new buds on it. I mean, you can see that all in my cameras. Yeah, there you go. New buds on it, but it has like, like these things, like dead scales, and I've never had a plant like this, so I'm not sure if it's normal. I just peeled off some dead leaves as well, but I'm like unclear if it's dying or if it's like, doing well. It's also like growing back up, which is very, very strange, but there's so many new little buds on it, so I don't know. I ended up getting out all of this from here, but it looks a lot better. It's more green. I have these random like brown sticks, but I think it's looking a little better. Hi guys, don't mind the cars because I'm parked on the main road over here, but it's later in the day and I am at the place where I'm doing the shoot for my cousin and it's a beautiful day and I can't wait. So I'm gonna film some little behind the scenes like I have been doing on my DSLR camera to show you a little bit of what tonight looked like. Hey guys, today is Saturday. It's day 166 of quarantine. And yesterday, I think the last thing you saw was me telling you that I was gonna show you some of the shoot that I did yesterday, but I never ended up filming anything just because the session just needed all of my attention for photos. So I didn't get to get any videos of the behind the scenes. So I apologize for that. But today we are in Sharon, Massachusetts. We have two weddings. We have one today. It's a three hour mini money. No, it's more like a micro wedding kind of thing. And we're gonna be there for four o'clock. I think it's like three now so we're gonna be there in about an hour but we decided that since our wedding tomorrow is also in this area that we should just stay in a hotel so as you can tell i'm not home i'm in a hotel we're staying at a fairfield somewhere in walpoo massachusetts and i'm kind of excited for this little getaway they got breakfast they got pool and we got a suite so 
I'm living the life right now. Um, but yeah, so we have those weddings today. They're not photo, they're video. So I'm sure we'll put like a proper- Today and tomorrow. Today, yes, today and tomorrow. Um, and we'll probably put the actual trailer or something in here for you because you should have those done by next week, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll show you how the, that goes. I'm gonna try to do some more behind the scenes since I'm not the main person today. Nick is, it's really weird, I know. But yeah, that's the plan. So we're here, I'm super excited. Would you guys like a hotel tour? Because I have not done that in a while. Welcome to my crib. All right, let me give you a real tour, a tour about this place real quick. We have a bathroom right over here behind the camera and we got the rest of the living space. We're gonna start with the bathroom over here. We got these stone tiles. Looks like marble countertop, a giant round mirror. Hello. You have a toilet and then a glass shower. That looks actually very nice, very nice. All right, we're gonna bring it around the corner over here. Head into the main spot. We got equipped with a microwave and carrot. If there's coffee, oh, and we got fruit. We can put our sandwiches in there. Come around here, we got a hook for our stuff, and then a safe and a closet, I think it is. We got the main bed right here. It's giant, kind of giving me 70s vibes. I kind of like it. This couch, I don't know what this material is, but it looks pretty cool. And then look at this thing. Okay, I wasn't supposed to move that, but anyways. We got a coffee table. And then, again, with the 70s vibe, which I'm not, not minding. A nice table, another big TV, and that's the most of the tour for you. There's also a pool. I don't know if I said that, so we might go swimming tomorrow, later today, because we only work to seven o'clock tonight. So we're gonna do, we're probably gonna go out to dinner, we're gonna go do some swimming. We've got some time tomorrow before the wedding. We don't have to be there until uh, 2.30. We're already right down the road. So I think we're gonna have a nice combination of relaxing and working, so. But we gotta get prepared for the wedding we are about to go to. So yeah, we gotta go do that. told me 10 years ago that I would be standing under the chuppah, marrying the love of my life, surrounded by family, there's a chance that I would have been able to guess that she was a charming Jewish girl named Sarah from Sharon, Massachusetts. <laughs> I'll pursue solitary pathways through the twilight meadows with only this one dream that you come to. Mazel tov. <laughs> It's beautiful. We're very. We're very. This is real. <laughs> oh my God, Sarah! I can't believe it. We are done with the wedding. We're back at the hotel. You can tell we're back in uh, street clothes. Hair's up in a bun because it's humid and it's absolutely crazy. Uh, but we're gonna go get something to eat. There's a place next door that does pizza, steak, burgers the whole shebang, it looks really cool and they have really like lit, lit up seating area outside. So we're gonna go eat there. I'm super excited because I'm starving. We <laughs> eat all this food. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> so um, did we eat the food? Because it doesn't look like we ate any of it. I'm full. We literally ate less than half of each of these plates because there's so much on them. It was so good though. All the cornbread's gone. Oh yeah. Good morning. It is, wait, it is Sunday, right? Yes. Yes, it's Sunday. It's day 167 and we missed breakfast down in the hotel lobby because it ended at 8.30 on a weekend. Like that's kind of blowing my mind. Usually it's like 10 a.m. but whatever. It ended at 8.30 so we did a rapid pickup over at Panera Bread and now we're back in the hotel. We're gonna eat breakfast and then checkout is not until noon here which is amazing. So eat breakfast. We're gonna get dressed, get prepped and prepared. Then we're gonna try to find a park to go to because the wedding we have to go to isn't until 2.30 I believe it is. So we got some time from checkout until we have to be there. So kind of a chill day and I'm here for it. 
I'm loving it. Okay, it is a few hours later. Nick has done some work. I've packed up the room. We both got ready for the wedding today. We're gonna pack out, pack out, <laughs> check out, <laughs> and then we're gonna head down the street to this park. I forgot the name of it, but I'll tell you it when we get there. Okay, so the park we're at is called the Bird Park. There's no birds. <laughs> <laughs> Literally haven't seen a bird. Seen a lot of dogs and kids riding on bikes. Um, but we just spent like the last two hours, I think, hour and a half, playing Animal Crossing and editing a preview from last night's wedding. But now it's time to go, so we're gonna pack up, head back to the car, and then go to the wedding. And we got a six-hour wedding today. There's a little park over there where the little kids are driving cars. I think it's the cutest thing ever. All right, you guys, we're gonna head to this wedding. We'll probably put in another trailer for this one instead of more behind the scenes. It's actually gonna be the trailer for the video, I believe. Right. All right, let's go do this. I might do some behind the scenes. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots right. Spent a long time trying to think of how to find the words to make a promise this big. And I couldn't, no matter how hard I tried. So I came up with this. I promise to be here with you forever. And I don't mean literally here because we're going home soon, but I mean for you, with you forever. I promise to put in my best effort for you and for us, and I promise to be the greatest love of your life for the rest of our lives. Hi guys! Today is Wednesday, day 170 of quarantine, and I'm doing that thing where I end the vlog on Wednesday because I never end it on Tuesday like I should. You didn't even vlog on Tuesday. I didn't even vlog. I didn't- I was just saying, I was like, is this vlog even good? Like, what did I even get this week? I have no clue what this week's vlog is gonna be like. I mean, you've already watched it at this point, but seriously guys, I'll do better next week. Actually, speaking of next week, I think we might just do a travel vlog because we have this next weekend off, which, by the way, is Labor Day weekend, had no clue, and we're planning something. We wanted to go camping, but we can't because there's no such thing as open camp camping spots during a pandemic on Labor Day weekend. So, we came up with the idea of doing like this waterfall trek around Massachusetts. Not sure. We're still planning it. We might do some planning of it tonight, but but anyways, that's next week. This week, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, can you please subscribe to my channel? Hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment. I say it every week, but I, I mean it. Please do that. It would mean so much to me. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next week with probably a travel vlog. If not, then weekly vlog. Who knows? You have to tune in next week to see. All right. Bye.